Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone to IE26 Engineering Economy. And today's lecture is about chapter four, the nominal and effective interest rate. We have talked about the interest rate in chapter one and two when we talked about the simple and compound. And we differentiate between the simple and compound in chapter one and two regarding or based on how the percentage applied on the original principal amount or on the cumulative amount that uh, every year. In, in this chapter, we talk about the percentage uh, uh, types in a different concept. On the period time where the percentage applied, not on the amount of the principal. In the chapter one, we talk about the, the simple and compound based on the principal amount and the cumulative amount. In chapter four, we talk about the interest based on the time period where the interest is applied. So just to make difference between those two interest rate, so students, they don't get confused about the simple compound and nominal and effective. Nominal and effective, as you can see here from the definition or from the brief explanation, is um, the consideration when interest compound more than one in the interest period. So it is related to the interest period. The period is the time. There in chapter one, based on the principle. If you recall in chapter one, it was based on the amount of money, not on the period of time. So today we will talk about the three elements or the three based or time-based units that we need them when we talk about the, end, the nominal and effective. Nominal and effective, both of them, they are based on those three time-based units. The first one is the time period, and the second one is the compound period, and we use the abbreviation CP, and the last one is the compound frequency, and we can call it CF. The time period, basically, is the period over where is the interest expressed. And we can call it, uh, or we always say 1% per year. So the per year is the time period. If we call it 1% per month, then the month is the time period. The compounding period is the shortest time unit which the interest is charged or earned. And we never refer to the compound period previously. So the first time we see it here in the expression, when we see the example, the 8% per year compounded monthly. The compounding, that's me. This is when the percentage applied during the year. The percentage is over the time period, which is the year, but is applied every month. That's why it says it is compounded monthly. The last one or the last time uh, unit, which is the compound frequency. The compound frequency, uh, we call it CF or we call M. This is the relation between the time period and the compound period. So it is a relation between the first two time units. The first unit is the time period. The second is the compound period. The last is the relation between the first two. What does it mean, the relation between the first two? The 1% per month compounded monthly. That's mean the percentage, free, uh, the compound frequency is one. Why? Because the time period is month and the compound applied every month. So it is applied once. On the other example, to show you the difference, if we have 10% per year compounded monthly, that means the time period is year, but is applied every month. And how many months we have in the year? We have 12 months, so the compounding frequency is 12. In this chapter, we assume that the days of the year is 365, the weeks 52, and the number of months is 12. And the quarter is three months, and the year consists of definitely four quarters. This is to explain the three time units that we are going to use in the next meeting, inshallah, or the next class, 
when we convert between nominal and effective and we see the difference between them to show the definition of the nominal and effective in the coming slide if you have any questions regarding to the ta three times units please raise your hand or type your question in the chat box or you can use the mic before we move on Yes, Abdullah. Uh, doctor, uh, can you repeat it, please? Okay, repeating again. The three time based units. The first two, which is the time period and the compound period. It is related to the how is the percentage applied on the time. The last one, which is the compound frequency, is the relation between the time period and the compound period. The time period is what we used to have in all the percentages we have dealt with in the engineering economy. We, we used to say 5%, 10%, 7%, peer something. This thing is the time period. This is where is the expression of the interest applied on but how does it apply is it per year within the example here five percent per year does it mean is it applied yearly or it is applied monthly during the year or it is applied weekly during the year or maybe it applies quarterly during the year so this is what does it mean is the bound period the compounding period is the time where the interest applied during the time period so is when the interest applied during the time period so if the time period is year uh, it is applied yearly no need to say that and it is going to say one percent per year but if i'm having a percentage uh, time a compounding period different than the period then I have to identify it and state it in the percentage. In a meaning, 8% per year compounded monthly or compounded weekly, that means the percentage applied monthly or weekly during the year. So in this case, we need to state it so the person he knows that this 8%, it doesn't apply at the end of every year. It is applied every month during the year. The compounding frequency is the relation between this compound period and time period. In a meaning, how many times the compound period appear in the time period? How many months appear in the month? Obviously, it's one. How many months appeared in the year? Obviously, it's 12. How many quarters appear in the year? Four. How many weeks appear in the year? It's 52. So this relation between the compound period and the time period is the compounding frequency. To define what is the nominal and effective, if you searched about the word meaning for nominal and effective, you will find that the nominal means comes from the name, comes from the word, the name, which is name only is not the truth interest rate it is only the name we call it even in arabic we always use this expression so this is exactly the nominal so it's not effective it is not the actual on the other hand the effective is the actual what you see what you get in the nominal what you see is not really what you get so you have to convert it to effective to know exactly how much you are charged okay so the nominal is not really the exact one it is just the name and how we identify or distinguish from looking to the percentage that is nominal or effective basically you follow these examples or these examples will show you how you identify when we say 2% per month, that means 
stop here. We didn't mention there is compound. That means it is effective. So this 2% applied every month at the end of every month. When we say 12% per year, that means it is effective because we didn't mention a compounding period. And the compounding period, since it was not mentioned here, that means this 12% applied per year at the end of every year. So that's why it is effective. When we see the second example, the 10% per year compounded semi-annually, or the 3% per quarter compounded monthly, that means these two are not effective. Why? Because the 10% here, I'm not sure how it is calculated, whether it is really calculated based on the, uh, the semi-annual in the first example at the end of the every year, uh, I mean semi-annual twice every year or 12 times or three times per quarter. So this percentage need to be converted in a format that shows us this is whether it is nominal or it is effective. In the third example, when it says effective 9.4, Per year compounded semi annually, that means in this case, since it is stated that is effective, this is exactly calculated and it is actual. Meaning, this 9.4 per year applied every six months because the semi annual is every six months. 4% per quarter compounded monthly, that's mean. The quarter is the relation between the quarter and the month. How many months in the quarter? Someone can tell me. Three. Good. Why? Because we have four quarters per year and the quarter consists of three months. So this 4% applied every quarter and at the end of each month for every quarter it is applied at the end of each month for every quarter to distinguish from the nominal and effective first thing you have to look before the percentage if it didn't state that it is effective then I have to look to the time period and the compound period. If the compound period is not given, that means it is effective. If the compound period is given, one of two things. Either it is going to be nominal or it is going to be effective. When it is going to be nominal, if the time period and the compound period are not on the same time unit and at the same time, it didn't state that it is effective at the beginning. If it is stated from the beginning, it is effective, then it is effective. No conversion need to be done. But if the percentage for the compound was the time period and the compound period are not equal and didn't say that it is effective, then this is a nominal. We will see examples and examples we can easily practice how to find whether it is nominal or effective. Here is the first one, 5% per year. Is there any if a compounding? No. Did it state that it is nominal? No. Then this is 5% per year as we usually had in the engineering economy. So this is effective. When it says effective 5% 5, 5 per year, this is emphasizing also that the 5% period it is effective so whether it is stated or no since there is no compounding that is exactly effective okay the third one 5% per year compounded yearly now the time period and the compound period both of them in the same time unit which is year so in this case it is effective because even if I didn't say stated that the compounded yearly would say 5% per year. So it is equivalent to the first two 
examples. So it is effective. The fourth one, it says effective 5% per year compounded yearly. And also again, even though the time period and the compound period are equal, but also the effective came here at the beginning, so it is effective. The, the other example says 5% per year compounded monthly. Now, didn't specify that it is effective at the beginning. And the time period, the compound period, they are not equal. So this is nominal. It has to be either given effective at the beginning or the time period and compound period are equal. The other example says nominal. Uh, okay, this is the first time we see nominal stated from the beginning. Nominal, 5% per year compounded monthly. Now, the time period, the compound period are not equal. At the same time, it is stated here it is nominal. So if it is stated from the beginning, nominal or effective, you don't need to confuse yourself. Follow what is stated from the beginning. If it was not stated from the beginning, then time period, compound period are equal, it is effective. Are not equal, it is nominal. If the compound period was not mentioned, the same thing applied. If it is applied with the effective as here, that means it is effective. If it didn't mention it is effective, then it is effective. But if it state nominal 5% per year, that means it is nominal. But in this case, we cannot convert it to effective because we don't know the compounding period. More examples. 15% per year compounded monthly. The time period and compound period are not equal. Didn't state that it is effective. It is nominal. 15% per year. Again, we don't have compounding. Didn't say it is nominal, so it is effective. The other one, it says effective from the beginning. You will need to complete the sentence. It is effective. 20% per year compounded quarterly. It is nominal. Why? The time period and the compound period are not equal. Didn't state that it is effective. The last one is stable, nominal. We don't have to complete the sentence even. It is nominal. The 2% per month, it is effective. There is no compounding. There is no nominal at the beginning. 2% per month compounded monthly. Okay, the period, compound period are equal, both of them and month unit. So it is effective. The third one, effective 6%. We don't have to complete. It is effective. Other one also the same. It says effective, so we don't have to complete the sentence, regardless of the time period and compound period. The 3% per quarter compounded monthly, time period and compound period are not equal. Didn't state that it is nominal or effective. That means it is nominal. The last example followed the same. And about the word continuously is not going to be covered in this chapter or in this class, so you don't need to have to worry about the continuously. You have any questions, this is going to be covered in the next meeting, inshallah. But if you have questions about the previous, please let me know. Okay. Since there is no questions, I will stop recording and I will wait for any more questions and we will continue with the next meeting about how we convert from nominal to effective. All what it was required today to know there are two types of interest rate, nominal and effective, and they are different than the simple and compound we covered in chapter one. What is the meaning of nominal and effective, what are the three time units elements of the uh, nominal and effective time period, compound period, and compounding frequency, how we identify the percentage we have, it is nominal and or effective. And the converting from nominal to effective, it is going to be covered in the next meeting.